next guest is a talented young actor you know from The Queen's Gambit. She is now a lightsaber-wielding Jedi killer in Obi-Wan Kenobi on Disney+. Plus. Please welcome Moses Ingram. <laughs> Fantastic. Thank you so much. And Moses is what a great name that is, Moses. Yeah, thank you. We had to uh, register our names when we first got to school, and so that's the name that I chose, Moses. When you were a little kid, you chose that? <laughs> no, it was more like 21. Oh, I had okay. just gotten to school. Oh, I see. Okay. I prayed, and then the next morning I woke up, I just heard Moses, and ever since then. And the Red Sea funny. parted, and now here we are. Made way for me. It was great. Yeah. yeah. Have you, um, like, has it sunk into you? And have you felt the effects of being now a part of the Star Wars universe? It's crazy. It's crazy. It's crazy. It's crazy and it's fast. I feel like the last few days have been at, like, warp speed. Yeah, well, you're even using the terminology now. Warp you know? speed, yeah. And the, like, are you aware, I'm sure you're aware of the fact that nerds are going to be following you everywhere you go for the whole rest of your life now. But nerds are cool now, so it's not like one of those things. That's right. My way of thinking, nerds were always cool, but you know, I wasn't. I love, okay, yeah, you, yeah, necessarily you, you, cool. You were. Uh, I know that this show uh, takes place ten years after uh, Revenge of the Sith, right. Episode Three, and that movie came out in what, like the early two thousands or something. So you were a kid when that movie. Yeah, came whatever out. the year was was the grade that I was in. Oh. Yeah, I'm one of those kids. Okay. Yeah. Did you go see it in the theater? I didn't. You didn't. I actually like. Getting this job was my first time seeing the movies. Okay. Yeah, it was. Did you know uh, that you would get to have a lightsaber? Not until my first day of Jedi school. That's fantastic. Yeah, it's crazy. It? It's crazy. Jedi school. Is so secret. Yeah. There's a Jedi school. There's a Jedi school. You do all kinds of stuff. Is there like... a bus stop they pick you up <laughs> at? <laughs> all right, Not Jedi. Exactly. <laughs> you know, you pull yourself in, but it's fun. You do all kinds of stuff. How every many day. students are in Jedi school? Um, um, well, if you count the stunt team, quite a few, but in actuality, it's like me, you, and, and okay. Hayden. That's probably about as far as it goes. Well, there aren't a lot of Jedi. Yeah, they can't just train everybody. Not so many, yeah. It's exclusive. So you said they, they train you to do Jedi things. What kind yeah. of things? With the lightsaber, obviously. Yeah, I did all kinds of stuff. I, like, ran across walls. I hung in wires. When you say you ran across walls, yeah. what does that mean? Means I like ran across a wall, like you but like I wasn't up? even like linked to the wires the first time that I ran across a wall. They like had like two barriers, like one like this and one like this, and I'm supposed to like launch myself over this one and like do it like running across this one. So oh. it was it's hard to picture, but it was fly. <laughs> it was fly. Is that one of those things that you either can do it or you can't do it? And what if you can't do it? They put you in wires. <laughs> they put you in wires. They put you in wires. I see, okay. Yeah. Was Ewan on wires? No. No. Ewan. He went wireless. He's so talented, man. He's like, I came in that first day and he's just like, he's like back, the dust is like off his shoulder, and I'm just trying to keep it in my hand. Well, he's been a Jedi for a long time. A long You're time. new to the whole deal. Yeah. In fact, we have a video. This is a video you got in trouble for posting, right? I did. I did. Let's take a look here and then you will tell us what. Now, there you are. Yeah, that's me. Doing the Jedi stuff. <laughs> Did they tell you not to post anything involving the lightsaber? Well, you know. I mean, <laughs> I feel like it's easier to ask for forgiveness than permission. But, oh, I shouldn't have said that. That sounds yeah. really bad. But no, I mean, I really thought it would be fine. I was like, I'll put it in my story. It'll be there for 24 hours, but 24 hours is not 24 hours on Instagram. No, it isn't, especially yeah. when, you know, you're in Star Wars. How, how quickly did you find out that people had seen this video? Uh, it wasn't long because then it was everywhere, and then there were theories, and my manager called me and she was like, immediately no. <laughs> immediately no. You can't do that. It's gotta she go. She was upset, yeah. yeah. I didn't know that the lightsabers you trained with actually had, is it a tube? Is it glass? Or what is at the end of I'm that? actually not sure. It might be like sort of like a plexiglass or something. So but... it's like the toys, kind of. 
Kind of, but yeah. more fancy. There's weight to it. Like a fancier toy. Do you get to keep the lightsaber at the end? I have my my handle, my lightsaber handle. You I do have, have it, do, yeah. yeah. And if you're at home and you just want it, can you reach over and it will come to you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's a great answer. Yeah. That's, you must have learned that in Jedi school. I did, I learned a lot of things. We have a photo taken by Annie Leibovitz, uh, who uh, took a photo of you in character. <laughs> if you're... You're a villain. You have the red lightsaber here. Yeah, crazy. Yeah. Do you, now, your mission, your character's mission is to uh, kill Obi-Wan Kenobi? Well, I'm hunting him. You're hunting him. Who knows what'll happen when I get him, <laughs> but I'm hunting him. Yeah. You're hunting him. Yeah. Did they encourage you? Like, did the director do a thing where he wanted you and Ewan to um, stay away from each other or dislike each other to create some kind of negative energy between you? No, Deb's really great. Honestly, she probably thought it was a good idea for us to be training together. Oh. It's funny. So we have, like, the training facility that we were at. There's, like, three red lights before you actually get to the facility. And so I'm, like, driving one day, and I'm, like, behind this motorcycle. And me, when I see a yellow light, it means green, but, like, lighter. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's like a lighter shade of green. <laughs> So there's motorcycles like stopping at all the yellows and I'm like, what is going on? So at the next light, the second light, I like cut around the motorcycle. But then we both get caught at the lights. So I'm like, oh man, it's fine. I'm gonna go where I'm going. They're gonna go where they're going. And I pull into the facility and the motorcycle is still behind me. I'm like, oh God, they gonna want a problem. <laughs> so when I get in, I park, I'm preparing myself and the person takes off their helmet and it's Ewan. <laughs> it's you and so I'm like I just make a beeline for the COVID test and I get in line and you and is like good morning <laughs> I was like uh, uh, good morning left nostril right nostril just, please hey listen you know what it's dark side versus the you know the Jedi it's the force I mean what are you gonna do I know I have a problem that's not the first time that's happened to me oh really no, what did it else not. did it happen with it happened with Washington. What? <laughs> yeah, it did, it did. It's funny. So we did Macbeth together. Uh-huh, right. I was so excited to be there. Like, I was like a kid in a candy store. So one day I get to rehearsal. I'm sitting next to Corey Hawkins. Corey Hawkins was also in the movie. And we're like laughing and joking. And Denzel comes over. He's like, what kind of car do you drive? <laughs> and I was like, oh, I drive, you know, X. And he's like, huh. Were you in the 134 this morning? And I was like, yeah, 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 yeah. He was like, were you in a hurry to get to work this morning? And I was like, well, no, not particularly. He's like, uh-uh, uh-uh, uh no, you were. You were, because you were behind me. And I was confused because I knew I wasn't late, and if I knew if I wasn't late, you wasn't late. So I don't understand what the issue is. And, and so I'm trying to think of what to say, but Denzel Washington is like chastising me for my behavior in traffic. And he was like, I understand that you want to get to work on time, but it is not that serious. <laughs> and Corey thinks it's, it's hilarious. And honestly, I felt really good, because I was like, I feel like I like moved up a level in Denzel's life. Yeah, so, so like, one of, you came one of his, <laughs> yeah. well, you rear-ended him practically. It was great. <laughs> yeah. Wow, that's, that's pretty good. That's good stuff. Yeah. Moses Ingram, everybody. She's got a lot going on. New episodes of Obi-Wan Kenobi tomorrow. Disney Plus, thank you very much. We'll be back with Trixie Mattel. Hi, I'm Jimmy Kimmel, and I am not allowed to eat this cookie until you click the subscribe button. So please click now. I'm hungry.